The Bank of England is picturesquely referred to as the old lady of Threadneedle Street, but events of the past weeks must have given her many more white hairs. When the decision was taken to abandon the gold standard, work was still proceeding on the enlargement of the building, and no doubt the more spacious premises will come in useful when the flow of gold turns once more towards this centre of the world's banking system. Always connected with mysterious journeys, Mr Montague Norman, who is seen here with Mr Mellon, Secretary of the United States Treasury, timed his return from Canada perfectly with the latest united action of bankers and politicians to set us back on the main road again. The stock exchange opened last Saturday for the first time since 1917, but those few stolen hours were soon swallowed up as the exchange was closed on Monday and Tuesday. A great deal of unofficial business was transacted in the street, and the rise in prices indicated a return of confidence as a result of the courageous decision taken by the Treasury in Whitehall to move Great Britain off the gold standard to which we had returned in 1925. This was in part due to the excessive withdrawals of gold by foreigners, and during the last few days city workers must often sadly have watched this scene of bullion being taken from our bank vaults to a waiting car, eventually to find its way to foreign coffers. But even though its more aristocratic function is temporarily suspended, the old mint still continues to pound out silver and copper coins. And in spite of the fact that the pound note may for the time being have less value than the gold sovereign, united efforts will presently bring it back to its old purchasing power. So you're puzzled about all this business about going off the gold standard? Well, I don't wonder. It is a bit complicated. If the budget is balanced, what are the causes then of the trouble, after all. The cause is an unbalanced trade balance. When we are buying more than we are selling, when we owe people more than they owe us, and they begin to wonder how they are going to be paid, then they begin to lose confidence in our money, and it loses ground compared with theirs. Other countries have been in very serious financial difficulties, and still are. And so they all wanted to get their sterling balances their money out of England to support their own difficulties and to make themselves, as they call it, more liquid. And having come all at once, the crisis that had been averted by the balancing of the budget was forced on us as bankers because all the people who had lent us money wanted it back at the same time. That was the main reason why we had to go off the gold standard. 